Thank you. In 2023, the war on young men and masculinity continues unabated. And this was demonstrated by the Western Australian newspaper recently, which ran a front page story titled How We Stop This Kid Becoming a Monster, with an image of a harmless looking young boy on the front cover. The article describes how violence prevention groups want programs in schools to moralise young children about respectful relationships and domestic violence. The implication is that without the intervention of these so-called experts and their lived experience, that this boy would inevitably become a violent criminal. The so-called experts and their lived experience contribute nothing to society. And I have a couple of obvious suggestions that might help. Number one, instead of focusing on feelings in schools, focus on academic excellence, achievement and discipline. Secondly, stop vilifying boys and young men for their so-called toxic masculinity and promote the virtues of true masculinity, they being justice, prudence, temperance and fortitude. The point of all of this is to brainwash young boys into submissiveness and the reliance on feelings instead of assertiveness and the reliance on reason. An assertive and principled man is dangerous to these social engineers. Our society needs more, not less, masculinity, and we must raise men who are strong, resilient, courageous, decisive, principled, disciplined, and who see it as their duty to provide for their families. If we want to see this, we must remember that this is the duty of the parents, not the public schools, to raise well-formed children. Schools should stick to reading, writing and arithmetic. To quote Dr Jordan Peterson, it's not OK to be a man, it's necessary. What the hell are we going to do without men? I think a little more patriarchy will help us out, not hurt us at all.